Hello everyone, my name is Bryce, an aspiring video game developer. I have been working on my first game for a few months now, and I'm finally at a point where I can show it off. The game is going to be a 2D platformer with a unique twist. You can ride your own bullets. This can be used to do many things, such as reach higher areas, cross gaps, scale walls, and defeat enemies. I think doing this gives the player tons of movement options, and I look forward to walking these into my levels. Now, the plot of Diamond is fairly simple. In it, the Square Empire has launched a full-scale invasion of the Polygamal Plains, and you must stop them. Now, these squares might have the personality of a square, but they are very tough. Why look, here's one now. Ah. Well... I guess they are not so powerful after all. <laughs> okay, this would be easy then, right? Ah! God. Okay. I guess they have many tricks up their sleeves. Wait, do they even have sleeves? So, this is the first thing you see when you boot up the game. Pretty average shadow screen, so why don't we click start and begin. Level 1-1, Diamond Woods. We're gonna jump over this gap right here, and take out that square. We got two little diamond trees over here, we're gonna get up, and shoot, and oh I know, I'll push the diamond to make it kill him faster. Now this seems like it might be a bottomless pit, maybe it would be a good idea to diamond jump across, but nah, I'm gonna fall. And hey, looks like it was safe. So let's keep going, I'm gonna use my diamond jump to get up these walls. And oh, okay, it's one of those guys. We already know what happens when you get close to them, so I'm gonna have to time this right, and now. <laughs> there we go. So, got a bunch of trees over here. It's like a forest or something. Ooh, that was a pretty cool jump. Um, now we're going down and down. Let's go this way and take him out. Aha. Alright, let's keep going. Wait. Oh, wait, what's this? Ooh, ooh, looks like we found a secret. Mine. <laughs> I'm rich now. Alright. Let's keep going. I have a feeling that we're getting close to the end of the level. And, okay, it's one of those guys again. And let's go! Ah, dang it! Took damage! Okay, it's fine. Because it would seem we're at the end. Boom! We did it! Ah. I bet you're wondering what that coin I collected was. That, my friend, was a diamond coin. There are three hidden in each level, and I think I have been hiding them pretty well. So you'll have to check every nook and cranny to find them all. Now I did this to add some replayability to my game. Who knows what might happen if you collect them all. Happy hunting! So, what are my plans for the future of Die Man? So far, I only have two levels completed and we'll be starting work on the third one right after this video drops. I am planning on having 5 walls in total with 3 levels each, making for a grand total of 15 levels, which isn't a lot, but I'm not trying to go for anything too big. I don't want to end up like Yandre Dev and make a ton of levels or a ton of stuff with nothing good in it. Each ward will also end with a challenging boss fight, which is going to be very fun to code, I'm super excited for that. And on top of that, I also want to try and add more enemies, as so far I only have two. So I'm thinking about maybe adding in a second kind of enemy, like a, maybe like a pink kind that you can't damp be damaged. You can't damage it. <laughs> I know how to talk. And yeah, but for now, that's gonna wrap up this devlog. 
if you want to keep up to date on all things Diamond or if you just want to hang out, uh, feel free to join my Discord server, which I'm going to make uh, right before this video drops. And what else? Uh, subscribe, like, comment. I love feedback, so if you have any ideas for the game, it would be really appreciated. But I think that's going to wrap it up. I was Bryce, you were disappointed, and I'll see you next time.